two, hands up, three, four, five, if your hands up and you're kicking, it's a bad kick, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, outstanding, left leg back, same thing, watch the part that you step off the right back, take it 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 back, hands up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, hands up, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty, outstanding. More? Left one a little bit. Good. Facing that wall. Step in the side kick from here. Hands up. Okay. It's called a crossover side kick. Instead of just stepping, what are you doing? No. Step behind your kicking leg. See this? Step behind. Boom. See a lot of people they just do one foot to the other. Uh -huh. You step behind your kicking leg. See? If you do this, if you bring one foot to the yes. If you bring one foot to the other, you're limiting the amount of power that you can generate, right? Because you're stopping your motion. Here. But if you step behind, see how my hip is? You can use your hip, dig that kick in there. That is exactly right. It's called a crossover side kick. Right? Like I said, about 80% of the broken ribs I've seen in life came from a side kick. Extremely powerful side kick. Extremely powerful. And it doesn't matter what you hit. Kick them in the thigh. Kick them in the rib cage. Face, even in the arm, if it's a pelvic constriction, the left one is, even in the knee. Whatever it is, yeah, that is, it is usually he's thinking about it, huh? All right, well, let's see it. Step in this crossover side kick, this is called. And one, two, three, four, five. Six. Step behind, Jose. Seven. There you go. Eight. Nine. Step behind the kicking leg. Ten. Eleven. Good. Lean your body away from the kick. Just the way you would a regular side kick. Twelve. There you go. Thirteen. Get a little close, um, Trey. Take a step back. Fourteen. There you go. And 15. See, I want you to be far back so that you engage your hip. If you're too close, you never get a chance to thrust your hip into your attack, okay? So, can you hurt your chin? Why are you holding your chin? Why do you spread your chin? How's that feel on the offside? Okay.